1440 KVON 99.3 The Vine. This is Kelly, and it's time for Healthy Communities with St. Helena Hospital. With me this morning, I have two radiation oncologists, Dr. David Tate and Dr. Stephen Banks. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. And uh, Dr. Tate, I guess we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about the Martin O'Neill Cancer Center. Well, it's a pleasure to tell you about the center. We're located at St. Helena Hospital, Napa Valley. We're a new center that's been established within the last two years, so an all-new facility. We offer comprehensive cancer treatment, including chemotherapy or medical oncology and radiation therapy, which we're here to talk about today. Uh, included in those services are prostate cancer services, including something called brachytherapy or seed implant procedure, and then also the technology we're going to be talking about, the Calypso system. In addition to that, we offer clinical trials. We're affiliated with oh, the really? University of California, San Francisco. Um, so we offer the latest technology and, and advances in medicine to patients in the Napa Valley. And we have some specialized personnel, navigators, dietitians, and so forth that are focused in uh, cancer therapy and help mm -hmm. direct our patients and guide their experience. And it's been there for about two years, you say? Yeah, just a little less than two years. So it was... Uh, Wow, so a new uh, offering up in St. Helena. Yes. And, um, and if someone is listening right now, we're going to talk about the Calypso this morning, this new really exciting system. Um, but tell us if they want to get involved in the clinical trials or if they want more information, can they just contact you directly yeah, the best, at the center? Yes, please contact us at 707-967-5721. Um, we are at the Martin O'Neill Cancer Center in, in St. Helena. Okay. and. Good. Uh, if you have any questions on cancer therapy in general, be happy to have people contact you. We have nurses and navigators to field those calls, and physicians become involved in those directly as well. Great. So we'll give that number out again at the end of this interview in case you missed that. And um, so we're going to talk about the new Calypso system, um, and I'll let you both, Dr. Banks and Dr. Tate, chime in as, as you like. But um, first of all, what is it? So Calypso is a way of providing a more targeted delivery of radiation therapy. At this time, it's mostly geared toward men with prostate cancer, helping to manage treatment of that disease. One of the, the biggest obstacles that we as radiation oncologists face when we're trying to decide how to best treat a man with prostate cancer is how to get the highest level of safe radiation dose to the prostate without putting the patient at risk for complications and mm. side effects from treatment to the normal tissues around the prostate. I've always told my patients that the prostate is a, a very unimportant gland in so many ways, but it's in a very high-priced real estate. True. Um, it's surrounded, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It's surrounded by the bladder, the right. rectum, and the nerves that allow men to have erections. And radiation, has, just as surgery, has the potential to damage any of those organs and any of those functions. So the goal that we have is to try and optimize the delivery of radiation to the prostate and minimize the exposure to those sensitive structures. So how is the Calypso different than a traditional mm -hmm. method of radiation? Well, traditional methods of radiation are going to focus on, um, on the prostate at a single point in time. And I think mm -hmm. the best analogy is it's like taking a snapshot and then assuming that things don't change after that. So you can do mm -hmm. some x-rays or CAT scans at the time that you're getting ready to start delivering the radiation each day. The problem is that the prostate, like every other part of our body, every other organ in our body, has the potential for movement with breathing, with bowel movement, uh, such as per what's called peristalsis, digestive changes, the bladder filling over time. And traditionally, prostate radiation takes about 20 minutes, so the potential for significant motion of the prostate during the time you're actually getting the radiation treatment is fairly large. Calypso, what it does is it provides you continuous real-time feedback of the position of the prostate. The best analogy, as I said, instead of getting a snapshot and right. then making an assumption that things don't change, it's like a continuous video. So I think right. you're thinking of your prostate as a child for those people who have children, <laughs> taking a picture <laughs> and, and telling them to hold still right. and then taking a picture and assuming that they're not going to move, as opposed to having that video, it's much more meaningful and it's giving you much better data. It's also like a GPS. It is. It's like it finding, is. it's finding the tumor, right? Because you're saying everything's moving. You mean that the location of the tumor could be moving. Correct. So it's actually a, an electromagnetic transponder. So uh, we have sensors within the room that pick up the implanted beacons for the Calypso system. So they're like three 
smaller than a grain of rice uh, implanted seeds into the prostate. And to put those in place, it's a simple outpatient procedure similar to how the biopsy is done for prostate cancer in the first place. And then we can detect those with submillimeter accuracy, just like a GPS. So it's objective and it's real time and it doesn't involve any radiation exposure to the patient. So we can continuously monitor people. If we see movement outside of our threshold mm -hmm. as the treatment's going on, we stop the treatment. We may reposition the patient and adjust things in order so that we're always targeted on the prostate. So we get the dose of radiation that we planned into the prostate, but avoid all the structures that Dr. Banks talked about as well. The, the standard approach of delivering radiation for the prostate now, and the only approach that's been available in the North Bay up until this point, is to put just inert gold seeds or pellets into the prostate. And again, then do a CT scan or a, a, a plain set of x-rays, see where those are, and then carry out the entire process of the 20-minute treatment, during which you're blind to what could be happening right. as far as motion. And it, the prostate moving out of the radiation beam path means that you're missing the target potentially, and therefore you may get a less effective treatment not curing the cancer as well. But if the prostate's moving out of the target, something else is moving into it, and most typically you're gonna see that being the rectum and mm -hmm. the neurovascular bundles, which are again the nerves that allow men to have erections. And so by minimizing the exposure to those tissues, this, this technique with Calypso has now actually been shown to, to drastically reduce those risk of side effects. I hope that they're um, working on providing this for other parts of the body, too. Well, they actually are. I mean, this is working incredible. On this. Really? Uh, Calypso itself is already working on it for lung cancer. Um, and the issue there is just trying to develop a beacon system that will work well to, um, to fix those target tissues. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just working. It's a, it's a process in development. Sure. But really... There is potential to use it in other disease sites, and I think that the more comfortable and the more experience there is with this technology, mm -hmm. I think we're going to see it being used in other diseases as well. Well, that is good news. Um, so how new is it? Like, How many patients have been treated with Calypso? Well, it's actually been approved by the FDA since 2006, and uh, across the country, more than 10,000 patients have been treated. It's present in 100 medical centers within this country. Up until this time, the nearest uh, place that people would have had to travel to is San Francisco or Sacramento to get this technology. Um, wow. But it's uh, we're very pleased that we're able to offer it to patients in the North Bay Area. And I Absolutely. think this is a real service. And this is the treatment yeah. that I would choose if I were undergoing this therapy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice. I think it, it really complements our approach to trying to minimize the invasiveness and the, the complications that can be associated with treatment in general. Uh, and I think that's, that's a goal for a lot of centers, but unfortunately not every place is moving in the direction of, of really getting the optimal types of treatment, I mm -hmm. think. Well, we're speaking with Dr. David Tate and Dr. Stephen Banks, radiation oncologists at St. Lena Hospital and specifically at the Martin O'Neill Cancer Center. So uh, tell us briefly again about all the offerings at the Cancer Center. So the Cancer Center offers comprehensive cancer care, including medical oncology or chemotherapy treatments and radiation oncology. Uh, within radiation oncology or radiation therapy, we offer um, brachytherapy the Calypso Beacon System for prostate cancer, and we also offer patients stereotactic body radiation therapy, a very targeted type mm -hmm. of radiation for lung tumors and other treatment sites as well, too. Um, we're happy to be an affiliate of UCSF and offer clinical trials and a number of other services, including dietary and genetic counseling in our program. And how can oh. we find out more? Well, sorry, if I could, yes. I was going to say, uh, to expand on a couple of things that David mentioned, mm -hmm. the brachytherapy is placement of radioactive sources directly into the target tissue or into the tumor. And so, again, that helps to minimize radiation exposure from x-rays to the other tissues around it. And the stereotactic body radiation therapy, again, is something really that's going to be new to the North Bay. And I think that's going to, be, again, be the same type of approach as what we're looking at with Calypso and brachytherapy, is to really try to drive home to get the dose to the target and minimize the exposure to the surrounding tissues. Well, that's great. And so how can we find you? So our phone number is 707-967-5721, and that will connect you directly with the Martin O'Neill Cancer Center. 
Great. Well, thank you both so much for being here this morning. Kelly, it was a pleasure. Thank you. That's your Healthy Communities with St. Helena Hospital.